this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III! Since last time, I walked my way back, got up to level 24, so we got our ship unchained, so now we're ready to explore the world! Let's talk to a couple of people here, they have some new information. Uh, there's a huge city called Salonia. They have a really fast airship. Well, my airship's good enough, so I don't really care. A very large walled city. Okay, well, they... Well, I mean to go to Salania, so, okay, fine. We'll get there eventually. I have some exploring that I want to do first. Let's explore the rest of the world. Now, there's this continent here that's full of mountains, and there's a isolated village we can't get to. And, let's see. Ah, there's a way inside. Huh? What the hell? Ah, I can't get in, huh? I wonder what happens if I land. Let's find out. I've never done this before, viewers. Oh. I get thrown out anyway. Okay, never mind. We can't get in there yet. Sorry! So you mostly want to go north, but a little... Okay, I can't find where I'm, where I'm at. Sight! Oh, wow, I'm way off. <laughs> okay, never mind. I really should have gone farther north. We'll find it eventually. Ah, there's a village. That's the one I'm looking for. This is the village of Destar. Let's check it out. It's an island of da Dalug, 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 whatever. It, yeah, I kind of saw that on my way here. Swords of Darkness. Hmm. We'll have to keep an eye out for those. And these are geomancers. I'll go over those, guys, in just a minute. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, geomancers in this game. Their damage is pretty random. At least in this version of the game. They're... Well, they're okay, I guess. Oh, there's a fast airship in Salonia. Yeah, I heard that the first time. Let's find some hidden treasure around here. An earth drum. Uh, I guess that casts quake whatever, but it, it would have a hit multiplier of one, so I really don't care for it. I don't care for most of the battle items in this game from here on out. Now I want to get two rune rings for my wizards. They're, well, more powerful than they were before, so why not? If you have um, other uh, mage-type job classes like a geomancer or a conjurer, um, you'd want to get those for them as well. Let's see, the Gaia gear is just for, uh, what is it, Geomancers, the Bard robe is, well, for Bards, and Feather hats are for more advanced mages than I have right now. Unfortunately, my wizards cannot use them, but later on they will. So, not right now, though. And the Weapon Shop just has weapons for the aforementioned classes. So let's walk around here for some more hidden treasure. And we get another Earth Drum. Yay! Oh, that, that, that's very nice. Oh, Bahamut. Oh, well, yeah, he's usually the most powerful summon. But actually, this is the first uh, Final Fantasy game that features summoning, so it wasn't Final Fantasy IV. So let's talk to these guys and go through the song. Oh, he has a different song. Oh, th thanks for sharing. Thanks for wasting five seconds of my life. And Odin sealed himself. Okay, well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, yeah, they told me that back at the Ancient's Village, okay. Don't these guys have anything useful to tell me? Ah, the Shadow of the Lake. Remember that one that I showed you earlier in the game? That's Leviathan. But we can't uh, get to him yet, so maybe later. Ah, oh, this guy is a chocobo. No, I am not singing that song. You can forget about it. Okay, well, I guess I'll go over the job classes all at once. There's another village I want to go to before Salonia. Do not go to Salonia yet. I'm warning you. Whoa! No, I don't want to go there yet. <laughs> you gotta be careful. There's a good reason. Okay, um... Yeah, this looks like a good place as any. Let's park here. And this is the other village of Lepret. 
or Laprites. This is the village of conjurers. Archmage Noah. Okay. And summoners can, well, summon monsters. They get through an enemy's defense. So that's somewhat nice, I guess. I'll go over why I don't care for conjurers in just a moment. Let's go exploring. Let's see. Oh, there, yeah, there's summoners and conjurers. Kind of like in Final Fantasy 1, there were white mages and uh, white wizards. In this game, you have conjurers and summoners. And I'll go over the differences in a moment, too. And we just climb that tree over here. Let's see what's over here. We get an elixir. Yay! Can never have too many elixirs because you can't buy them in this game. And you'll need them later on. The final areas are really long. So, Undersea Cave under a triangular island. Hmm, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Not that the final areas are really long, just compared to the rest of the dungeons in this game, so. Uh, Noah could summon Leviathan and Bahamut. Hmm, he must have been pretty powerful. Noah's pupil sleeps into a, in a fjord to the south. I don't think I've ever used that word in my life, but there we are. And we get a phoenix down, and one of the Gurgans must have gotten here somehow. Someone is summoning the power of darkness. Oh, and it's going to engulf both worlds and become void. Hmm. That's not good. And, okay, okay. Ha ha! He can only summon chocobos. Yeah, you're a hopeless conjurer. And at the magic shop, you can get your first few summons. So, yeah, let's go over them. Now, the way conjurers work is that uh, summons can have one of three effects. They have what we call a white magic effect, a black magic effect, and a summon effect. Although they're all govern governed by the uh, summon magic damage calculation. Uh, chocobos, uh, they will either stumble, do nothing, or um, run away, or they'll actually deal some damage if they're a summon. But for conjurers, they're useless, and for summoners, by the time you get to that point in the game, the damage is so minimal, I don't care for it. Shiva, her white magic effect can put all enemies to sleep. Uh, black magic will cast Icy Glare and on one enemy, and summon magic will... Um, uh, cast some ice spell on all enemies. Much more powerful as a summoner. Now, as a conjurer, you can only use the white or black magic effect. It's completely random between the two. And that's one reason why I really don't like the, the conjurers, because it's just too random for my taste. I mean, why would I select between randomly par paralyzing all enemies and deal or dealing damage to them when I could have a black mage where I would have a choice between the two, and his skill is already really high. Now, now the interesting thing about Shiva is that her icy glare is not ice elemental. It's non-elemental. I guess it's a programming error or a bug or something, but that can be pretty useful against monsters that, um, you know, are resistant to elemental attacks, like those splitting enemies later on in the game, so Shiva can actually be pretty useful. Ramu, um, white magic, uh, paralyzes all enemies, black will deal lightning damage to one enemy, and summon will deal lightning damage to all enemies. Uh, Ifrit can heal your party, deal fire damage to one enemy, fire damage to all enemies, and Titan, uh, now Titan's actually the most useful for the Conjurer, because he'll um, deal physical damage to uh, one enemy regardless of what white or which effect he chooses at, for a conjurer but as a summoner he'll deal earth elemental damage to all enemies so that can be pretty useful but I mean that's why I really don't care for the conjurers it's just too random for my taste so now the other job class is bard even more useless than Final Fantasy 4 if you can believe that oops let's get out of here come on Now, Geomancers, similarly to Conjurers, uh, they're, at least in this version of the game, their uh, terrain command is very, well, not very random, but random enough whether it works or not. 
so I really don't care for the geomancers because of that. There's some areas, like in this swamp area, where the terrain can be pretty useful, actually, because it'll cast an attack called Sinkhole, which is an instant death attack, for free. In water areas, he can be also be pretty useful because he'll deal water damage to all enemies, which is decent damage, but not nearly enough to make up for the randomness when it can backfire and take off a quarter of your maximum HP. I really don't care for the Geomancers. So, now before I go to Salonia, I want to do a little bit of level grinding, get up to level 26. This area right around here is pretty good. They got some new enemies, they give quite a bit of experience. And if you have a Geomancer, he can be pretty useful too here, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna stick with the same job classes. So, I'm gonna grind up to level 26 between now and next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. That's all for this episode. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.